Hey there. I um, Welcome to my first walkabout video. Congratulations for getting here. I'm excited that you're at least at this point thinking about being involved in the walkabout project. I said to you in the emailing today that I would try to answer two questions for you, the, the two big questions that people ask when they're first thinking about being doing a walkabout. The first one is why should I do a walkabout? And I think it's a really easy answer but I like to take this opportunity to go over it with you. I think, it, I, I think it's important. It's, it's my belief that if you live life correctly, that a life done well is, is a life lived according to the walkabout. I think happy adults are the ones who seek adventure. They create, they learn new things all the time, and they make a commitment in their lives to serve other people. It's as simple as that. People who live a walkabout lifestyle are the people who you come across during the course of your life and you think, oh, this person has the answers. This person really is, it, it is living well. And there, there's just something about them. You can, you can sense their, their, their peacefulness and their ease and, and also their happiness. And that's what a walkabout lifestyle will do for you. Of course, I think we all live our lives like that from from time to time, you know, that that's part of, of what we do and who we are. It's the problem is, is that we don't do it all the time. We get incredibly distracted. Our lives are very, very busy and we have so many things going on and we just, we don't do meaningful things all the time. We get distracted by things that are not meaningful. We watch television in the evenings or we, uh, we're distracted by, by, by work and they're they're not necessarily always things that are fulfilling so walkabout is the solution to that I it's it's going to be an opportunity for you to to focus your ideas and your energy in the five areas then the five areas are adventure creativity inquiry service and skill I'm here, my job, as I see it, is to give you support, to give you regular feedback, to give you an opportunity to talk to other people who are going through the same kind of thing that you're going through, and to give you, you know, as much encouragement as I can, but also to give you a bit of structure. I, I think we, we need that and we like that in our lives. I think that's one of the things that I've discovered in, in working in public education, that structure is can be very meaningful and it can be very powerful. So I'm going to remind you at regular intervals what it is that you said that you would commit to and, and ask you questions about it, the process and how things are going for you and how I can help and how, you know, what research I can do for you or, or do we just need to sit and talk about things. I, uh, Again, the walkabout is my passion. It's the thing that I discovered during, during my educational career that brought true benefits to people over time. And it's something that I want to bring to you and I want to bring to other people. I, 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 get, I, I really believe these five areas, you do these five things, or you focus during the course of a year on, on five projects in each of the areas, and, and you'll be a very, very happy person. Which brings us to the next question is, okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna commit to this, how do I start? It, you start by thinking about it. You start by thinking, okay, if I'm, if, if I'm going to do a walkabout, what would it involve? What are some of the things that I haven't done in my life that I'd like to do? What are some of the things that if I had the time, I would do and will help you find the time? And then you start to talk to other people about it. I'd like to, to suggest that you talk to people who are people in your life who you think are, are powerful people, meaningful people, people whose ideas you appreciate and value. You'll find that they will really enjoy the opportunity to, uh, to listen and respond to you in terms of your, your ideas of your walkabout. And also, you'll, you'll find that they will give you good ideas and the kind of feedback and additional support that you're going to need during the course of this. It's going to allow you to dig deep. It's going to allow you to build stronger relationships with people that are close to you. And again, you're going to be so happy. So the first thing you do is you think about it. Um, I did ask you when I sent the very first email to write back to me and opt in. Let me know that you wanted to do it. Some of you didn't didn't respond. 
Some of you sent an email, some of you wrote back to me on Facebook, some of you called, but th there's a, there are a few of you who I haven't heard from at all. So I, I really would like to, to remind you to let me know where you stand in all of this. I think one of the big worries is always, I don't have the time, I don't have the energy. I promise you, you have the time, you have the energy, you can't not do this. Especially if there's, there's, there's an inkling in your life that, that a piece is missing, that something is not there. This is gonna help to fill those gaps. It's going to, you're, you're gonna find a renewed sense of energy by committing to, to things outside of the normal purview of your days. So think about it. Let me know you're going to opt in. Then remember that I need you to go to walkaboutbasecamp.com. Once you get to the Walkabout Basecamp site, I want you to register for it. You're going to register for it. You'll find that you can't go into the site right away because I have to approve you as, as a member of that site. The Walkabout Basecamp site is, a, is a, a social networking site like a Facebook. You have your profile page, you have, you'll have a main page, you can do status updates, you can put pictures in, uh, you can write blog posts. The only other people who are going to read it are me and the other people who have committed to doing a walkabout at the same time. So you'll have, you, you're going to have a, a social network, but it's a contained social network. So I need you to do that. Once you get onto the Walkabout Basecamp and you've thought about it and talked about it, I want you to write a blog post where you say what you think you want to do in the next year in each of those five areas. It's important for you to know now up front that the Walkabout is a work in progress. It's going to change and grow and evolve all the time. I posted mine this morning. I posted the five things I want to do, the things I'm going to commit to in the next 12 months. I was out of the house for two hours. I had a really powerful swim, did lots of thinking during my swim. And I came home and said to my husband, I think I have to change one of the parts of my walkabout already because I have a new idea. This is something I'm really excited about. It's going to replace one of the things I've already said that I'm going to commit my time to. So please know it's you're not when you when you write what you're going to write in your blog and and let us know what it is that you're thinking about. You're not writing it in stone somewhere. You're saying this is where your thoughts are now. Those are the things that I want you to work on this week, and uh, I will get back to you. You'll uh, I, again. I'm going to check in with you regularly, and I value any feedback that you have for me, any questions that you have about your personal walkout, walkabout or about this process of me trying to share the idea of walkabout uh, through technology and across the web. Because again, for me, this is really a part of my, uh, my experience too, is trying to figure out a way to keep the walkabout alive outside of the classroom. So... I'm, I'm so excited. I, I really hope that you take the choice to join us. I can't wait to, to hear what it is that you plan to do. I know some of you have already started to share and I just, I get so excited about it. Thanks again for, um, for listening and I hope to hear from you soon.